You're watching News 15's Health Matters with Lafayette General Health. Joint pain. If you don't have it, chances are you know someone who does. And did you know that the weather can actually play a role when it comes to joint pain? I sat down with orthopedic surgeon Angela Mayu Abair to give me a few points about our joints. When it comes to joint pain, can people at any age be exposed to this or is this normally the older generation? Well, if you've had some sort of trauma before, you can get post-traumatic arthritis at a much younger age. And so those people will have those type of joint pains. The heavier your labor is, so we have a lot of oil field workers in this area do a lot of heavy labor, they will get arthritic pain earlier. Uh, but then also as you age, it's part of aging as well. A lot of people think when it's cold outside that affects your joints and your muscles. Is it true that cold weather can make your muscles and your joints hurt? There is some literature that says that that does happen. It has to do with the barometric pressure. When the barometric pressure changes is when people hurt more. The bigger a change, the more you hurt. So what are some ways that we can alleviate the pain when that does happen? The biggest thing is probably keeping warm, not letting yourself get cold in the cold weather. Um, I often advise my patients that have uh, had recent major surgeries like a knee replacement to take a warm shower in the morning before the day starts. Uh, oftentimes wearing silk underwear or something to keep your legs or leg warmers to keep your legs warm underneath your regular clothes helps a lot. So what happens if your joint pain becomes more constant and a little more severe? We can do injections. There's several types of injections. One of them is called visco supplementation. It's basically, you may have heard people talk about rooster shots or rooster comb. Those are injections that can help with arthritis pain. We can do cortisone injections in the knees or other joints. And then if it becomes severe where nothing else works, joint replacement surgery is an option. And that'll do it for this week's episode of Health Matters. I'm Danielle Grossman. We'll see you next time. Health Matters was brought to you in part by Lafayette General Health.